Hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs> I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, still working on my bathroom. If you've been following me and I've been working on that. <clears throat> I got that almost under, almost done. But then we had all this uh, mulch delivered and uh, oh my gosh. So we've been doing mulch and working in the garden. And when it gets warm outside, you know, I'm, I'm an outdoors person. I gotta be outside. So it's harder for me to be, you know, inside. But I'm at work today, as you can, I don't know if you can tell, I have a whole different background here. Um, I just spin you around, but I probably <laughs> get y'all dizzy. But all, the, all my students left. So I thought before I head home, I thought, oh, I'll do a video. Um, I wanna I wanna show you how I do my bowls. Um, everybody always says, you know, um, I don't know, I do, them, I do them an easy way, I think. Um, I use this, this is a Cake Boss. I bought it, I think at uh, Meijer. It's really for icing cakes. But this tool, it's like three bucks. I think that's all it was. And um, I'll show you how to use it. But if you, um, you can buy, um, yeah, I think I've got, I got a whole box full of goodies here, but, so you can buy them like this from the um, your local clay supplier, but they don't always have, you know, quite the same angle, as you can tell. Like this one gets into the curve of the bowl better, I think. And then this one's really nice. This is by uh, Mud Tools, Cheryl Mud Tools. And this is really nice because it has both angles. You can use it this way with a sharper angle or use it this way with a much gentler angle. So those are really nice. I, I tend to use this more, but let me show you, um, lower you down. And, and I do, I am going to um, do some videos on hand building, but gosh, I, I've i been doing some stained glass. If you've been following me, <laughs> I kind of, I used to do stained glass before I did pottery. And um, so I don't know, I just got the hankering to do some stained glass. And I'm trying to make some votives uh, Put the stained glass in the clay votive, kind of combine the two. So I'm working on that too. So if I if I get that um, figured out, I'll do a video on that too. But, but anyway, so I thought I, I thought it's been so long since I did a video, and I got a new tripod too. So hopefully it works. It doesn't. The camera doesn't like you know fall off. The thing. <laughs> okay, let's get started before I bore you to death, huh? You see, I got my Cincinnati Recreation Commission. I teach at uh, Dunham Recreation Center. Oh, here my car. Inside. Um, yeah, I teach, I teach at the Dunham Recreation Center and uh, used to be an old tuberculosis hospital. And it's a big, big complex um, over on the west side of Cincinnati. And it's supposed to be haunted, so but I've never seen anybody, any ghosts or anything. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Let's see how this works, this new tripod I got. Okay, there, I think that's good. All right. And these are old wheels, so they're kind of noisy. So I'll try to try to talk above it. And I just use the cheap masonite bats, if you can tell there. So this is about five pounds of clay. So I'm gonna get it centered up. So um, to get it centered. I lock my elbow into my abdomen and I'm going to push really hard. You want to make sure your clay is attached though so you can hit it or just press it down. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm pushing in and pushing down and I'm going to hold and you want to hold it as tight as you can in slow release. Never release fast, because if you release fast, you're gonna, you could have it centered and then you're gonna, it's gonna go off. So, okay, so I'm gonna cone up, because this is recycled clay that one of my students was recycling and I said, well, I'm gonna throw a bowl today, so I'm gonna, co I'm coning it up. This is the way I do it. So coning, when you're coning up, if it's if it comes right out of the bag, 
you really don't have to tune it up. But for recycled clay, I like to cone it up. Coning it up and down is, it's just like uh, wedging it on the wheel. That's my take on it. And I try to put some of the slip on my hands back on it because the slip is actually better than the water. Water will wash away a lot of the slip. So see, it's, it's pretty centered, but I'd like to um, cone it up again. Because like I said, this is recycled clay. She had a bowl that collapsed. So I'm going to put that slip right back on there and push it down. And I'm going to kind of push it forward a little bit and then push it down. just help keep it centered as you lower it. So then as you lower it, so you want to think about how big the base of your bowl is going to be. <clears throat> so this is pretty wide and I, I got about five pounds so I, I kind of like bowls with a wide base but that's a little too wide so I'm going to narrow that in a little bit. I'm going to push it in. I'm just pushing it in like that. See I've got my elbow locked and my abdomen. And I'm pushing it in with this. This is guiding it, but this is what's pushing it. Oops, I'm off the camera. This is what's pushing it right here. And you want to keep it moist, not soaking wet, but you want to keep it moist so that your clay doesn't catch your hand and it drags. It, you know, you'll throw it off center. So, okay, so I got that in like that. Whoop. but every time I throw pottery, throw clay, my face, I always have an itch on my face or my hair, and then I end up with clay everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna open it up. So, I, you can, I, I can't open it with my thumbs if I have this much clay. If I'm doing mugs, then I can just open it up with my two thumbs, go down and pull open. But when I have this much clay, it hurts my thumbs too bad. I have arthritis in my thumbs, so. I use my middle finger next to my thumb and then this finger on top. So that's what I have like that. And this is gonna guide me and hold it steady. And I'm gonna push straight down. But it's the clay is dry here, so fill it up with water. You don't want it to drag. So my middle finger and my thumb are pushing straight down. And slowly release. And I can tell, I'm, there we go, I had to go down a little bit further. And you can measure with your needle tool. Slide your finger down and pull it up, I have that much. So that's a lot. Um, that's probably an inch. Um, so when I pull it open, I'm gonna compress the floor and that'll make it a little bit, little bit less. But I wanna be able to put a good foot on here. So I want some, I want, I want the floor to be kind of thick. So think about how big of a foot you wanna put. So now I'm gonna pull it open. I'm gonna pull the walls out. I'm gonna use these two fingers. And basically, it's like, this is going to be on the outside of the bowl. This is going to be on the inside. And you're basically like squeezing it like that. But you want to make sure you're going straight across. You don't want to pull it up like this unless, you know, you want a slanted floor. But actually, I'm going to use these two fingers. Sorry, I'm going to use my middle two fingers here. They're a little bit stronger. So I'm, my left hand is just holding it steady. 
my right hand is what's is what's pushing in. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. I'm gonna compress the floor. And I'm using, this is one of my favorite ribs. It's a, a wooden rib. It's round on this side. It has a sharp edge on this side. So to round it, it goes on the outside of the, the bowl so that the sharp edge doesn't dig into your walls. And you just start at the center and push your way out. I can't go all the way out to the edge because my walls are kind of curved in. So, okay, so now I'm gonna pull the wall up. So on a bowl like this, it's kind of big. I like to use a sponge. Some people use their knuckles. Um, I seem to have more control with a sponge. So I'm gonna get some of that slip off the bat. And with this thumb touching, and these two fingers on the inside, they're gonna be pressing against the sponge. And see how I got this like little indentation here? That's what I'm gonna push up. I'm gonna pull up, I should say. I'm gonna pull straight up. I'm holding my pressure steady so that the thickness of my walls stay the same. And then I'm gonna stop and slowly let go. Then I'm gonna compress my rim. Okay, so I'm gonna do another pull. So when you're doing a bowl, people do it differently. Um, I've seen it done where you pull the bowl out this way, but for the most part, most people pull your bowl up this way because when your bowl is, when the walls are upright, they have more strength. So it's a lot easier to pull your wall up while it's sitting on top of all this clay and it's strong to get your height. Make sure you leave it thick enough though as you go to pull it out. Because when you pull it out, think about how much wider that's gonna be. This is gonna be a lot thinner. So leave your walls thick if you're going to pull a very wide bowl. Okay, so I'm going to do probably one more pull, although this is pretty thin already. I'm going to dig in at the bottom, and my two fingers on the inside, actually I'm going a little faster than what I usually go. I'm going to pull this up. stop and slowly let go. I think the biggest problem a lot of people have is they they, they come up and zoom, they let go. Or they're going like this trying to smooth it down. Clay does not like to be uh, rough. You don't, unless you're centering it. <laughs> That's the only time you can be rough with clay is when you're centering it. Um, otherwise clay does not like to be jerked around. <laughs> Gentle. Okay, so now I've got it, I've got it just pretty much where I want it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wet the inside just a little bit, just so it's just so it's slimy a little bit so it doesn't catch. And with my thumb touching this hand and my two fingers on the inside, I gotta remember to stay in the camera. My two fingers on the inside. They're, te they're pressing against that sponge. I'm gonna stop at the very bottom, and I'm gonna slowly lift up as my left hand pulls out. So my inside hand is pulling that bowl out. Then stop, let it settle down, compress your rim, Okay, so now, add a little bit of water to that, make sure it's nice and slimy still. I don't want the, my catching, my rib catching. There we go. There we go, it's nice and slimy. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this tool. This is the magic tool, in my opinion. And I hope you can see this. Ding my 
roll, but that's okay. Let me see if I can get the camera just a little bit closer. See if you can see the inside. But I want you to be able to see the shape that the bowl is transforming to. So this hand, this hands, I, this is how I hold it. I have pinky on one side, three on that side, and then my thumb. So my thumb and pinky. It's hard to see with this camera very close. There we go. So can you see that? So this is going on the inside. With these two fingers again on the outside, these are going to be directly across from this. So I'm basically squeezing the pot in between. I'm squeezing the walls in between these two fingers and this rib. And then this thumb is gonna come over and rest on my, well, actually I'm gonna rest it on here. Sometimes if it's a small bowl, I can rest my thumb on my hand, but this is a little bit larger. So I'm gonna rest my thumb on the rib. And that's gonna help keep my hands cohesive and steady. So I'm gonna, I'm putting this right in the crux of this bowl, and I'm gonna press down, and it's basically gonna widen. You see how wide the bowl's getting? Okay, I'm gonna slowly let go. Take the gook off. Get a little bit more water in there. Just a few drips. Okay, so now I'm going to try to pull the bowl, bowl out more. I've got it smooth on the inside. And I don't even watch this. Okay, so I'm going to, my, like I said, my two fingers on the outside of the bowl, this is angled. Remember this camera, these cameras are run backwards. So I'm on the left side of myself. So my left hand is outside, my right hand is on the inside. Really pull that bowl out. And if I slide up, whoops. And I'll stop at the top and then slowly let go. And it looks like I have a chunk of a um, little bit stiffer clay right here. Like I said, this is reclaimed, but that's okay. So, did you, can you see the, uh, the difference in this bowl? How it just let me see if I can, um, you see the difference there? Let me do it one more time on the outside and I'll show you. Or let's see, um, let's bring down the inside here. Oops, oh yikes, it's tipping over. My tripod's tipping over. And now I have clay all over my, <laughs> my phone and everything. So I think you can see here. Crooked, crooked. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. So I have enough slip in the bottom of this. I'm just going to try to slide some of that slip up. I don't want to add too much water. Then your walls will fall. Okay. So like I said, my fingers are on the outside. These are the two fingers that I'm pressing against the bowl. And this is touching this. You can see how I'm, I'm not holding it like this, so it digs into the clay. I'm holding it at an angle, so you're compressing the clay as you're pushing it up. Because I can feel I left a lot of weight actually at the bottom of this bowl. And I'm going to try and pull some of that up.
rib kind of dug in a little bit at the bottom. That's okay. So you can see. we can do also is we can lay this rim over. If you take your two fingers again and your sponge on the outside and I'm pressing in with my middle finger. So that's below and the middle finger on the top hand, my left hand, is pressing down. Let me get enough water on here to to uh, don't want it to stick. Okay, so remember my middle fingers underneath, my middle fingers on the top. I'm just gonna slowly. It's still sticking. Lay this lip over. There we go. And you can also use your sponge to do it too. Just grip it with your sponge like that and just lay it over like that. Someone from Clay Buddies talked about these makeup sponges, and so I ordered them. They're really nice. Um, they're really like a dense. Uh, they're really nice for smoothing the rims down, and um, I think it cost me like ten or eleven dollars, and I, I think I got like fifty of them. <laughs> so I brought a bunch into um, the Clay Studio here at Dunham, and I've got this where it's thicker there. I think I'm going to wait till it's dries up and trim that off a little bit. Um, it's kind of bugging me a little. Here we go, I think I got it. it must have been a hard chunk or something in this re recycled clay. We don't run it through a pug mill here, we just hand wedge it. You put it on hardy backer board. Yeah, I'll just it's a, there's a little ripple there, but that's okay. Um, I'll clean that up when I trim it. There you go. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask. I always try to answer everybody. Uh, and then I also want to put, with my wooden tool, I want to put a gouge in the bottom here so that when I go to wire this off, it stays underneath the bowl and doesn't try to arc up into the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to put a little, look, a little canal right at the base of the, where the bat is. So that wire slides right underneath there. There you go. Oh. How's that? Let me clean my hands off and I'll raise the camera back up and let you see the bowl a little better. I should have had an apron on, but I had so much clay on it from today <laughs> already. 
Um, let's see here. If I can get this up here without mess, messing it up. There we go. There we go. Let me raise this up so you can see on the inside. So there's the outside shape of it. Here's what it looks like on the inside. See, by adding this rib in here, this round rib, like this, or like the other one I had, it takes out what they call the beginner's hump. A lot of beginners, they have this hump in the bottom of their bowls. So if you take one of these with the pressure on the outside of the two fingers, and you just, you just put pressure on that and just squeeze that clay up and get rid of that. So you have a nice, concave shape and you don't have this hump that goes around the bottom. So, so that's my bowl. I think that was about five pounds. Um, I'm gonna let this sit here. Let me dry my hands off again. <clears throat> now I'm back. Let's see if I can raise this up. I've got, I have clay all over now. <laughs> Know about this tripod. I guess it's okay. I keep buying things to try to make it easier to, to video. I guess these I guess these other people have real fancy stuff. I don't know. But I don't have real fancy stuff. Anyway, so that is my cheater, cheater way <laughs> to make um, a bowl. And um, I hope it helped you guys. And um, like I said, my that cake, it was a cake boss, um, it was like three bucks at, um, I know I say um a lot, at uh, <laughs> Meyer. I think I got it at Meyer. I think Target carries them too, but you can probably order from Amazon too, so um, let's raise this up a little bit more. So you can see the, not my, not my things, there we go, there we go. Too, a little too close now, aren't you? So anyway, so that's my bowl. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, I, I hope to get back to making more videos. I know I've been kind of lax, haven't been uh, seeing, seeing you guys. <laughs> Can't really see you, but you know, talking to you. Uh, but you know, once summer comes, it's so hard for me to, uh, to stay in the house and do pottery. Um, I've been, like I said, and mulching and planting flowers and I think we got all the flowers planted and um, and all that outside, so I promise to do some more videos. But I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you're enjoying um, whatever the weather is where you are in this part of the world. And um, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. I think I'm up to like 2,500 or something. Like that's not very many, but it's a lot for me <laughs> that that many people would want to watch me. Anyway, I'm jabbering now. All right, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.